Welcome to part 34 of Legend of Dragoon, and as we last left off, this awesome feat happened. Yeah, we just got out of a fight with the Rancor that Frugal just so happened to have in the bottom of his keep. And because we beat it, we got 2,000 experience points and 100 gold, and a Satchet we could have used in the battle. But Rose and Darton Lavitz both gain high experience, and because of our drag down brawl with the Rancor, we can now leave. Now then, let's show those bitch ass guards who's boss. And yes, the monster conveniently fell and broke a hole to escape. Much like the Rancor did with Luke Skywalker. And Sean is just like, why can't anybody pay attention to me? Okay, I swear I'll stop picking on Shauna. She does get a little better with character development. I swear. I, I swear on Scout's Honor, she does get better with character development. <coughs> anyway. He still... She still feels that Dark thinks about her as his sister, <clears throat> of which he does. But now it's not the time for that. We're still in Helena prison. We got to get the hell out of here. And yes, we have to go through these chumps. Let's see if there's anything new about these guys. And... Nope, nothing new. Uh, same routine, boys. Uh, except for missing the action command. I mean, the addition. God damn it. I was playing Kingdom Hearts and I got confused. I should not do that. But anyway. Really? Watch Lavis destroy you. I mean, we took on a goddamn ranker for God's sakes. You think we can't take you guys down? And we leveled up? You guys are so in trouble. You know, I may have to check Lavitch's, Lavitch's additions. I think he may have maxed that one out. Haha, ha, you're stunned. Two, three, and you're dead. Yeah, sadly, these are mandatory fights. We can't go any further until we beat these guys. I do believe some of these guards may even have, well, other enemies besides senior wardens. Ugh. Why must the douchebag guard the area? I bet you this one has something different. Nope, same thing. You know, you're gonna stop attacking Lavitz. Yeah, I'm kind of out of healing on him here. I could really use some, though. Oh! I did not mean to miss that addition. Alrighty then, let's kill you. See, the ironic thing is they're both fire-based. Kinda wish we had some water spells on us right about now. Stop attacking Lavitz! He just slayed a freaking Rancor! That's one! And now for you. Yeah, you're done. Bastards. You know, I really should go to that merchant. It would really help. 
Ah, and Rose just leveled. Nice. Let's see. What do we have here? Whoa. I don't have to go too far. There's a healing potion there. Cool. Surprise, motherfuckers! It can't be! How are they still alive? No way! They beat mo that monster! No, we won't let him go any further! Like I said, Lavage just killed a freaking Rancor. You think you could beat us? Your boss is gonna be pissing his shorts when he hears that. Anyway, it's just like before in our last visit to Helena Prison. The Wardens are pushovers. I may be in an uncomfortable zone right about now because I only have one healing potion, but these guys are going to be dealt with. And that frame rate skip, well, the capture card was deactivated during the battle, so sorry about that, folks. I had to cut that out. Anyway, because it'll have been nothing but like two minutes of dead space. And just like that, Dart killed off those two guards. I feel we should backtrack and make our way back to the merchant. After all, nobody else is going to come after us. And besides... Ooh, another healing potion! I need to buy some more! There is literally no guards on the way to where we gotta go. So, with that said, let's go downstairs and not get off. Oh, right, we have those items we need to get because I spent up all of my items fighting the Rancor. Let's see. I already got that item in there. No way, not this one. Pandemonium. What a useless item. I should have left that. For those of you who don't know what Pandemonium is, that item basically makes your attacks... It makes your entire party's attacks miss for three turns. It is an incredibly useless item. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. Sell it immediately. Which is... Probably what I will do later on when I get to a different town, because chances are I won't be able to do that here. Or I'll probably forget about it. Oh, I already opened that one. Yes, I know there's going to be a random encounter soon. Shut up. Let's go downstairs, and let's go to the elevator and go straight to... The merchant. Because I got some stuff to drop off. You know what? I also have some stuff to sell, too. I just picked up leather armor, you know. That needs to be sold, because it's rather useless and it's going to take up space. Anyway. Uh, Albert's still being tortured again. No, not this area. I don't need to go back here. No, where I need to go is... right here. Let's buy some stuff, shall we? Let's see how much money I have. Ah, $600. Not bad. I mean, gold. Let's see. Let's use some of this stuff, shall we? Healing potion for you. 
And a healing potion for you. Because Lavish just gained a level as well as lost almost half all of his health. I'll go ahead and buy two more while I'm at it. I know, this is taking up some time. But this is preparation for the battle ahead. You know what? I have two more items. No, oh, one more. Never mind. I I bought them all. Okay, now we can go back up and continue. I don't think Albert's ass could take any more whipping. Anyway, I am fully stocked. I am ready. Let's clear out the rest of this dungeon. We probably won't be able to take on the boss. Because the battles leading up to him are also scripted. Let's see. Let's replace Cashel now that Rose is at level two. No. Yeah, we're gonna actually need this. Especially since... We're gonna have a rematch with Frugal later on. And by later on, I mean... The next part. Ha! Screw you guys! I don't need to fight you guys. Oh, but I need to fight that guy! Let's see what new dangers await. Or what new enemies that are with him. Ah! He has new enemies. Foul Fighters. Evolution of their form, Assassin Cox. I'm not too particular what these things do, but they're pretty darn tough. Whatever the hell, whatever the case, it's just a. Oh, what am I gonna say? I had something clever, but then I forgot about it because, well, we're fighting chickens. A guy who is has attacked chickens. There's nothing to say about that, except kill that thing and put two sides of biscuits and, and some coleslaw with that. Then again, I don't like coleslaw. Why am I thinking of food now? Oh right, the chicken. Ah, it makes no difference. Foul Fighter is dead. And I think the worst part is, there's another guy with one. Oh, so that schmuck is gone. Let's see. Next. Last schmuck to fight! Alrighty then, let's do this. And he's got chickens! Let's give- let's dip these guys in 11 secret herbs and spices. Well, basically, I would know what the foul fighters do, but I mean they may throw fire magic or something. But by the time you get to these foul fighters, they're not even that strong as you can wholeheartedly see. Their defense is crap, and for this guy to sick them on you, he's worse than crap. And he is. I think yes. feared. Yeah, he's afraid, so. Yeah, there wasn't much he can do. And with that said, we pretty much tore a hole through every guard in Frugal's dungeon. All that's left now is for me to save. Ironically, the save point is right here. So, with that said, let's check and see what's in these treasure chests here. Number one. Don't need that. I need that. 
let's see what's in here. Open a damn chest. Okay, I'll be selling those later. Anyway, we are done with this part. In the next episode, well, get used to Lavitz while you still can. Also, we have the second and final throwdown with Frugal in episode 35. This is Arvin Man 985. Goodbye for now.